first became aware of uh, Jacob Zuma, the current uh, president of the Republic of South Africa, when I first came to South Africa in 2003, but shortly around that time, I, I noticed that, uh, because I'm a media person, I'm not supposed to notice these things, that in the papers, you know, you would have Zuma, and it was Zuma, and so it's an easy name to say, Zuma, it's simple. But the two names that, that as I, you know, from 2003, Orange about 2005, well, I was in Cape Town 2010, but it doesn't matter. Um, uh, 2013, I um, was Zuma and Zilla, Helen Zilla, who was, who was the, 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 what's called the Democratic Alliance Party. I want to get into all that. And then those are some other names like Tony Leon, all these people are just faded. Those are the two biggest names. And then, um, then this other name, Milana, started popping up uh, because he was head of the AIDS Youth League and got kicked out of this whole bunch of things. At the time that I came, of course, Tabo Mbeki was the president of the uh, Republic of South Africa. Uh, uh, um, uh, Madiba, the first uh, democratically elected president of South Africa, that would be Nelson Mandela, he'd already gone as Tabo Mbeki. Then um, some machinations happened, you know. Uh, uh, it seems as though uh, the Let's put it, the deputy vice president at the time was uh, McClanty, Holly McClanty, and, um, and what they did, I don't know how that, but what they did was Tabo Mbeki, shortly six months before his term was up and there was going to be another election, um, the ANC, the ruling the, the party, uh, as is in their little thing, uh, they basically uh, took Tabo Mbeki out of office and McClanty became the president. So basically, um, you, had, you, had, you had Nelson Mandela, well, you had Mandela, uh, Tabo Becky, then and then you had uh, Harlan McClanty, right? That those are the three presidents, and then the, the elections happened early, later that year. Um, it was like five years ago, whenever it was, and Jacob Zuma became president. Now I bring all that up to say, there's a thing um, when people um, say about Jacob Zuma when they say he's stupid because he only had a certain education, right? But there's other things that you have to understand that I thought quite interesting. Um, uh, as you know. Uh, Jacob Zuma, you know, he dances a lot, you know, like, 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 like Mandela, uh, but also he has this laugh, <laughs> this laugh. And I was always intrigued by the laugh. So let's go back a little bit. I remember his, uh, when he, his claim to fame or whatever, uh, during the battle days of apartheid, he was uh, basically a spy chief. He doing a spy thing. Basically, he's been a spy chief all his life. Um, I should say all this, you know, activist life. And then uh, he got into politics where, you know, that whole thing. Um, but what's more interesting to me is that, uh, well, as spy chief, you know a lot of stuff. That's like the, like the, the first Bush, Herbert Walker Bush, you know, the, the one that's under Reagan. He was a spy chief and a lot of stuff happened. So spy chiefs, let's put it this way, not only do they know where the bodies are buried, they know how they got there, you know. Now what's intriguing about this whole thing to me is that when they had that uh, Gadessa one, you know, the Gadessa one, where basically they created a, a black middle class for um, for South Africa, and, um, and and then Gadessa two happened. But in between all that stuff, between the, the Madiba being negotiated out of jail to this whole say Gadessa, just stop at Gadessa two before the first election, you know, basically the, 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 it seems like the well the country's called it like this. You have you have the you had the, the English kind of um, interest, you had the Boer interest, and then you had the you know, the, the, the autochthonous interest, or what they call the black South African interest. I'm, I'm leaving the so-called colors out of this and the Indians for a little bit. So what happens, I think the way they carved it up, is basically the English got the banking and maybe some real estate, something like that. The, um, the Boers got the land and some other whatever, the, the, they got the finance, somehow the finance, like that. But the black people got the rest, so they got the political power and the social, whatever they got, right? So they purposely didn't have the whole financial thing. And also that Gadessa one, remember Jacob Zuma wasn't integral to that process and all those people that were integral to that process, they all got, now they have their millionaires, billionaires or whatever it is, right? And I think this whole thing with, with Zuma, you know, uh, he had to, basically he had to dance like Madiba had to dance. Madiba had to do certain things that, you know, people are coming back on him now for, basically to save certain, to, to make things go forward. Now. Uh, Zuma had to dance for his whole time in office. Now he's about to get off out of office, and he's like not dancing. When I say dancing, I mean political dancing. You know, so it's kind of interesting to me because, for instance, he could have uh, stepped down, and uh, Sir Ramaphosa, who they think is going to be the next president, whatever have you, could have been the whole year, whatever have you, being in, in, in the presidency. But he didn't do that. 
in fact, is his first wife, uh, Demi Zulu. She, so much she, she was the head of the AU, well, she's had some stuff in, in South Africa, and now she's quit that job, she come back, she's running for office. So you could say maybe he's doing that for her, um, because, you know, he's got some charges happening, you know, and, and you know, that's it. That was, she's, she's the first wife, you know, she has, he has five wives, because he's in a traditional marriage thing, you know, so he, don't worry, don't worry about it, you get that some other time. Um, so it's, she, he's, he's basically the father of her children. Now she becomes president, you know he's not going to get prosecuted. Not only that, what's interesting is that he's, he's going to be leaving um, uh, the presidency, but he's going to be now the head of SADC, uh, you know, the, the, all these, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, just ceremony kind of, he's head of SADC. He could do stuff, we'll see what happens. But, but I'm looking at all this stuff to say that, I think he said like, well, all these other people got paid, so while I'm president, I'm going to get paid. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Hold on a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, comes to two is might come again. Uh, so I think what 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 has happened, he says, with all his encounter and all these housing and all these deals he's had with the with the so called with the Guptas and all the rest of that stuff, he's basically saying, Hey, since I wasn't part of that first wave of, of billionaires, I'm gonna take my stuff while I can. And then he's lately he's talking about land getting like the EFF, you know, the Economic Freedom Party, talking about you don't want to get the land back like like Mugabe did for, from the from the from the boards basically. But they must control the land, I guess I'm English too. And of course, some Belgians and some, it doesn't matter. A lot of people who come to South Africa and take land and will try to deal with the land. So I think that, you know, he's making some rifts with them, with the advent of uh, the blockchain. I'm seeing what's happening with, with the whole banking thing, so that's going to be inter interesting. But more importantly, uh, Jacob Zuma, now that he gets away with whatever he wants to get away with, because he rolls that way, you know. Um, he's, he's like, think of him as the first Donald Trump. I don't mean to put him in the same kind of thing, you know, but I'm just saying, you know. And, and he's got a whole, phew, look, Jacob Zuma is a bad dude. I'm talking black English now. When I say bad, I mean like he's like the best, magnificent, you know, beyond, you know, beyond whatever. He's smarter than you think, you know. He's, he's like, a, in, 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 in the slavery pantheon, let me put it this way. Uh, my middle name is John, and for a long, long time I didn't want to deal with that. But John, in the slavery time, in the slavery pantheon, in the, in the, in the mythology of, of slavery, John was the one that, that was like, the, say, the master's right hand man. You know, think of him as like um, what Stephen in, in Django Unchained. You know, I mean, not I don't mean the, the, that kind of Stephen, but he like he was cunning. You know, he could read, he could he could write, he did all the books and everything like that. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's he was slick, and everybody just think he's dumb or whatever have you. So Jacob Zuma is like to me is like is, is like that. So um, so it's really it's really quite interesting. So I want to let me just end here. I want to say I want to heap some praises on Jacob Zuma because he he navigated the waters and whatever have you. And people the the, the publish may not like him, but it doesn't care because he, he he's not running anymore. He's done everything he needed to do. Let's see where he goes. He goes now, and let's see who who comes in. What they can do because he's made it so that they really got it. I mean, McClanty basically just said the ANC needs to lose some so that they can get a reality check. I think that this whole thing. Jacob Zuma may have done more. <sighs> Let me go back to Trump. I think that Trump has done more to uh, awaken a, a political consciousness than anybody before him. Because you know, Barack Obama put, you know, dealt everybody. And Jacob Zuma has, and uh, well, I, I have to give some credit to to to, um, uh, to the EFF and to 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 um, Malema because. They have done more to activate the political consciousness of South Africa since, uh, well, since the struggle for apartheid, since, since, since Medeba. So, all praises to Jacob Zuma. That's a, a, a dispatch from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.